I think that our brains operate on such a level that truly many just can't understand often the point we're trying to make. If I were to watch, I would be for the plot. I can also stop my pee midstream. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts. <laughs> hurts really bad. Are you the only true chosen? I won't tell you. That's, I can't tell you that. The Chosen, a beloved character born out of the Smosh universe known for his wolf shirt, cargo pants, and enigmatic one-liners. But do we actually know who this guy is? Today we're sitting down with The Chosen and asking them hard-hitting questions. And by the end of this, we'll get some real answers. Chosen, how are we doing? Introduce yourselves. Greetings, I am The Chosen. This actually doesn't have batteries, I'm just kind of replaying Pokemon Silver in my mind since I have it all memorized. Hello, I am the Chosen. I am playing new Super Mario Bros. I am also the Chosen and I was uh, practicing my Katakana. So Chosen, today we are responding to assumptions about you. So I think we may want to put down the, the, the gaming devices here. Very well. Mm -hmm. The first assumption is that the Chosen has no inner monologue. Well, I guess if you don't count all the spirits of dead warriors that constantly speaking to. Yeah, sometimes Dizzy Gillespie speaks through me. That's fascinating. What's he saying right now? Not much. He's mm. actually he's actually totally quiet. So yeah, actually actually sorry, let me let me think. Oh, I yeah, constantly wait. have the Halo 3 music playing on a loop in my head. Uh, I like the loading, like the, the, the main menu screen? The main menu screen, and then in a tense situation, it shifts to the combat music. Of course. My brain operates at such a high level that oftentimes it's hard to understand, even for me, what's going on up there. Yeah, Chosens are burdened with so much knowledge that often it's a lot of weight for us to untangle it ourselves. The next assumption is that the Chosen is immune to fall damage. Well, I wouldn't say immune, but I have practiced skills that can make me negate any fall damage. You know, how you kind of do the front roll thing, parkour. Yeah, I personally have perfected the, the method of rolling at the exact right moment. Sometimes have... uh, in my real life, I will do sort of a Minecraft water bucket situation where I have something on me and then at the moment I hit the ground, I soften the blow. Yeah, we found a um, metal ladder behind a Payless shoes and we climb up onto the roof and we would practice jumping from there onto the ground. And um, after many attempts, we did finally start perfecting it. I studied ants in my free time, so I, I learned from them. Yeah. They can fall from any height. They yeah. survive unscathed. Yeah, it's, it's true. This next one is kind of in the same category. The Chosen has a crit spot. The Critterus? <laughs> if the Chosen does have a crit spot, um, then pff, nobody's found the crit then. Uh, the crit's not real. I'm confident in saying that. Yeah, I think that's fair to say. The crit is not real. Yes. I also have my prostate removed, just in case. <laughs> the male crit. You had that surgically removed? Oh, yes. Well, I wasn't a surgery per se. It was more of a, a will. Mm -hmm. You know, I willed it away. Yeah. My body reabsorbed my prostate. Right. Frankly, I don't even know what it does. Yeah, I'm not sure either. I, do ants have prostates? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so either. Yeah, a chosen does have the ability to turn any organ into another organ. Yeah. I turned my appendix into a third kidney. I turned my second testicle to a third heart. <laughs> <laughs> into a third heart? Well, yes. <clears throat> I've already had two. I turned my gallbladder into a third lung, but it's half-sized. Oh. A little tiny long. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Just for little breaths. The next assumption is that the Chosen has high karma on Reddit. <sighs> you don't get high karma with based opinions like no. mine. No, exactly. In fact, high karma just means you're just agreeing with everyone all the time. Some of the subreddits that I'm on, I mean, may only be like four or five people in there. They often don't have much karma to give. Exactly. Deeper conversations happening, more metaphysical stuff going on there. Yeah. It's not about the karma for me. Uh, I can actually upvote every post twice. My upvote counts as two upvotes. Oh, wow. Yeah. Fascinating. That's incredible. Hope you wield it wisely. It's pretty sick. You can just make two accounts. This is different. Then I would have, then I would have four upvotes. And and y'all aren't mods or anything. No. Just just posters. 
No, I mod several Reddits, but um, just for fun. I'm more of an observer. Yeah. You just I lurk? Have mod status, but I don't often use the power. It might actually surprise you that our NoFap is not actually a hub of Chosens. There are many people there who are not chosen whatsoever. Many people who are doing NoFap for the wrong reasons. Mm simply just to gain powers or to get a girlfriend through NoFap, which is frankly ridiculous. The next assumption that we have is that the Chosen cannot be broken. I think with the right questions, the right torture, anyone can be broken. Really? Didn't you see what they did to Morpheus in the first Matrix movie? Yeah, that was pretty bad. I was also thinking about James Bond and Casino Royale. Oh, mm. yes. Yeah. I can just not, that really looked awful. Yeah. <laughs> There's no bottom on the chair. No, it's, yeah. That's why I make sure whenever I sit down on a chair that it has a bottom to it, because mm -hmm. otherwise you're like, okay, what, what's like, going on? Like, what if Mads Mikkelsen walks in here and hits <laughs> me in the balls? Exactly. <laughs> He's known to do that. Yeah. I find that almost to become chosen, you must be broken. Interesting. Well. You have to snap like in Mistborn. Exactly. There was a part of me that broke, and then I was able to reform myself into what I am now. Who broke you? Not necessarily a who, but a what. The world around me. Society. Society, it needed fixing. And in order to fix it, I must break myself. The Chosen's hair part requires massive amounts of chi. <sighs> yeah. Chi and um, depth 10. It's looking like y'all, not everyone's having like a hair part here. That is, uh, that's a singular characteristic to me. Um, every Chosen has different setups. My hair doesn't look good in a part, so. I actually would really like to see your hair in a part. I feel like it'd be really funny. You don't want to see it. No, I do want to see it though. It's not good. No, I think it can't be good. Well, also part of the problem is that because of the way my hair is cut is it's a different length on either side. Oh, no and way. so yes. when you part it, it's. Kind of like a spaceship in Star Wars. <laughs> and exactly, exactly like General Grievous as Solus One. Yeah, nice. My circumcision job was much the same. Ah, <laughs> oh, I've heard that happen. It's kind of styled. That's sick. <laughs> So it's kind of like Spider-Man 3 with his hair. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. Your penis is emo. Yeah, emo penis. <laughs> penis Parker. Penis Parker. It's like Spider-Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yeah. The next assumption is that it's dangerous for the Chosen to run at full speed in public. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, that's that's incredible. Have you heard of crazy. breaking the sound barrier? I mean, <laughs> it's kind of a noise issue, I would say more than anything. Yeah, it's true. Cuz I'm I can safely avoid any obstacles. It's not a matter of hitting someone. It's a, it's it's the noise complaints we get. Are you screaming while you're running? Well, yes. But also it's the it's the velocity. It's you know, you break the sound barrier. It causes a lot of environmental damage. Mm -hmm. Much of being a chosen is showing restraint similar to Superman. Mm -hmm. Just because you're capable doesn't mean you should do it. Yeah, exactly. To defeat our foes, to face our challenges requires sometimes merely just 10% of our strength. To go 100%, that's excessive. There may come a day when we do need to use all of our strength, but there has not been a foe yet that has required that. Let us pray that day never comes. The only time I'll probably run full speed is when Zelda Echoes of Wisdom releases, and I'll need to get a physical copy, and if I'm, like, running late, probably. Well, yeah, I'm running late. It's obviously the exception. Yeah, yeah. then I would run full speed, but... Then I, yeah, but other than that, no. How do you feel as playing as Zelda? It's freaking sick. Can't wait. It's woke enough for the Chosen? What is woke? <laughs> What's woke? Never uh, heard, I've never heard that term before. I don't know what that is. No, is that what's inside an egg? That's a yolk. That's uh, a yolk. yolk. Yeah. Woke. If you're talking about my woken inner abilities, then yes. Yeah, yes. To be awoken. I shall investigate woke. The chosen can't lose their virginity because the chosen never loses. Hmm. Perhaps. Interesting. Yeah, see, it's not part of my training regiment, this virginity stuff. It doesn't concern me. I know my lane. Go on. Girls are scary. <laughs> Yeah, it's just simply not um, been something I've been worried about. I mean, I did some research and there seemed to be no physical or mental benefits to it, so what's the point, you know? Yeah, here, can here. You really, can you really call me a virgin after the things I've seen, after the battles I've fought? Technically, yes. I mean, just tears in the rain. I can see so many battlefields, have defeated so many foes, faced so many inner demons, and just because I haven't, you know, done 
whatever that is. Like I mean, my virgin. blade has penetrated a lot of people. If you, it took a look at my checklist or what I have to do today alone. A lot more important time. You'd be like, oh, I get it. You let's, don't have time to think about whatever that is. Let's focus on the things we have done and not exactly. the things, yeah. No, our enemies are begging us to be concerned about this. All right, so kind of on that same line of thinking, due to his impressive no-fap record, the Chosen suffers from wet dreams. No. I am in full control during my dreams. In fact, in many ways, I am more alive in my dreams than when I am awake, of traversing realms. And in none of those realms am I doing anything that would cause me to splooge. I'm actually in full control of every single chemical and fluid in my body at all times. That's why I never, a Chosen also never needs to pee. Mm -hmm. You choose to pee. Exactly. Hence, Chosen. Chosen. That's part of, that's actually one of the main tenets. The way that blood rushes to a person's member when they're aroused, I can do the same thing with my arm in order to yeah. power it up. Okay. For, okay. for a swing yeah. of my sword. I can sword. make it like, bigger, like yeah. all I can, night. I can also stop my pee midstream without touching my penis. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts. <laughs> hurts really bad. When was the last time y'all went to a doctor? I went uh, a few months ago. They told me to get blood work done, but I said I didn't need it. I knew exactly what was in my blood. Yeah, so the last time I had my blood tested, I was uh, was actually tied to a chair at an Arctic research base. There was an incident. There was a alien life form among us. It infiltrated my men, so we naturally had to test the blood. <sighs> Wait, uh, Among That's Us? That's a true story. It was, it was just like Among Us. The Chosen has feelings for Brianna Boho. <laughs> no. It's insane. It's ridiculous. Are you sure? It's the most insane question I've ever been asked my entire life. I don't have feelings for anyone. Sure. I don't experience that. No, there's no time for feelings. Only action. Do you not experience it, or is it just you resist it? I only experience that which I choose to experience. Similar to how I control my pee, I control my emotions. You can stop a mid-flow. Exactly. Simply never let it rise up. You know. The pee? Yeah, the pee. Yeah, the pee. Oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. It all comes back to piss. Yeah. <laughs> Since we're moving into pop culture, I know this is something that y'all are really well-versed in, so I really want to get y'all's thoughts on this. Of course. So, Will Smith tried to warn us through coded messages about AI in the movie iRobot. Mm. Well, that's a common misconception, I feel. I feel Isaac Asimov was actually the one trying to warn us, but Will Smith kind of as well. And, you know, when Alan Tudyk accepted the role as the robot in iRobot, he came to me to learn about the laws of robotics. Is that so? Have you done a lot of movie consultations? Oh, uh, yes. Um, yeah. You know, the upcoming uh, Bridget Jones Diary 4 on mm. Peacock soon. Ridley Scott, of course, on uh, Kingdom of Heaven. If they ever make another Tremors, I'm sure they'll be contacting me since they're real and I've had to deal with them. Basically, the information I would give to anyone who consulted me on how to deal with Tremors would be the opposite of Stomp the Yard. Kind mm. of opposite <laughs> philosophies. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be... Opposite philosophies. Stomp the art over here, tremors over here. Really opposite ends of the spectrum. Opposite ends of the spectrum, yeah, exactly. And that's that's much of how movie logic works. You yeah, find your yeah. your opposite and you you work in that manner, you know. Okay, that's that's really interesting. I would love to pick y'all's brains later about the movies that you've worked on. No. <laughs> no? I don't think so. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Setting a boundary. Maybe perhaps that is woke. What is woke? <laughs> it's not a boundary. Okay. Well, seems simple enough. If it comes down to boundaries, similar to force field, then there is perhaps nobody more woke than the chosen. Perhaps we are woke itself. I am become woke. I think this one, I have a feeling y'all will have an immediate answer to this. Okay. Uh, so the assumption is that Cyberpunk 2077 was best when it was first released. You know, CD Projekt Red and I have a contentious relationship. After they fired me from playing Geralt in Witcher 2, we no longer spoke. We, of course, went on to create Cyberpunk Edge Runners. The greatest one of shit. The, one of the greatest. Yeah, it's so freaking sick. So, no, I would disagree. 
I don't think it was ever great. <sighs> the, it's the only way to really experience the greatness is to read William Gibson's original novel and to just kind of immerse yourself in that. However, the original Cyberpunk 2077 did have its moments, but kept getting shut down. Perhaps by something, some sort of outside force. I refunded it after about an hour of gameplay. Yeah. It didn't grip me. No, and we'll all be experiencing it in the year 2077, because that's going to be real. I've already been working on a mechanical augmentation for myself. Go on. Well, I can't reveal my secrets yet. <laughs> yeah. Work in progress. Okay, Choom. Yeah. Owned. I mean, you guys can see it later if you want. Oh, okay, okay, cool. So, all right, sorry. It's right. cool. The next assumption. The simulation bends to the will of the chosen. Well, what is real? How do you define real? Yeah, it's true. I mean, but it is the case. I mean, we came here to do I Spent a Day With, but we decided outside, you know what, let's morph this into a different show. And now we're here. So actually, we did morph the simulation today. It's hard to tell sometimes you can question if maybe it's a simulation of a simulation. Yeah. Have they pulled the wool over our eyes? It's kind of like in Stardew Valley when you go to the tavern and then you play the arcade machine there and you're like, you forget that you're actually in a tavern and that you're actually playing Stardew Valley. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the concept of a third space? A fourth dimension, if you will. My space. Once again, we are getting into your nofap line of questioning here. So the assumption is that the chosen watches eye for the plot. Hmm. Do you know what that is? Or yes, do you just I, consider it anime? I, uh, well, I speak Japanese, so I, <laughs> yeah, I'm mean, familiar with the concept. Right, yeah, mm. of course I'm familiar. Yeah. And I mean, artwork is artwork. I respect it, even mm. if I choose not to dabble in it. Um, if I were to watch it would be for the plot. There are lessons to be learned. I mean... What not to do? There are some creatures. It's true. That I would like to know, you know, how to combat should I come across them. and. Exactly. I sort of have a built-in sensor bar into my brain, so as soon as something comes into my field of vision that would not be productive for me, it's, I see nothing there. Yeah. It's like that episode of Black Mirror where it just sort of gets fuzzed out. You can block a person in real life, but I block images. Yeah. It's like when makers add unnecessarily sex scenes to movies. Perhaps that is not woke. Perhaps, who is to say? Perhaps that is a gray area of woke. Woke is about sex. <laughs> <laughs> is sex? Woke? Some types. Probably. Interesting. I know this realm is something you'll know a lot about. BB-8 is a real-life sentient droid. Oh, yeah, I saw them I saw them roll that thing out on stage. I mean, they, they probably are bringing out the real one, mm -hmm. but most of the droids from Star Wars, there is some sort of real counterpart in real life. Yeah. Well, the real one's off to completing important missions. Yeah, roll around. Yeah, on behalf of the Resistance. Can't be exactly. doing celebrity appearances. What was that evil BB-8 called? Shoot, um... Oh, BB-8? Whoa. <laughs> that was crazy. I'm gonna move on to a different fandom. Chica the Chicken is objectively the best FNAF animatronic. <sighs> That's simply subjective. What does it mean to be best? Yeah. Is it woke? Interesting. Is Chica woke? Is Chica woke? Hmm. I'm asking genuinely. I don't know. Uh, it's hard to say. I think part of being chosen is admitting when you don't know something. If we're going by most woke, I guess maybe Chica. Compared to Freddy Fazbear. Yeah. Foxy is not woke. Foxy seems pretty queer to me. Foxy uh, seems kind of like a Republican to me. Is Republican woke? No. 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 Republican is not woke. Much to consider. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Okay, Chosen, the next assumption. If the Chosen is wrong, you've misunderstood. Oh, yeah. I think that our yeah. brains operate on such a level that truly Many just can't understand often the point we're trying to make. Sometimes I get universes mixed up. I'll say mm. something that is true in another reality, but isn't true here. Like, oh shit, sorry, I was thinking about a different place, different mm. time. Yeah. You know, that can be that can be tough to juggle so many different dimensions. Sometimes I'm thinking of untruths. Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I forgot, that's a lie. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. yeah. And sometimes it's just not a piece of information that I can reveal. I, I am forced to tell an untruth. Sometimes we will be wrong for our own protection. Yeah, I'd say if I ever lied, it was, it was to, for everyone's safety. Yeah, if I was wrong, I was lying. Actually, we're gonna put that to the test. So today we're bringing out the world's greatest lie detector, John, and he's gonna 
hook you up so we can ask you some actual hardball questions, Chosen. Very well, bring it on. It's not my first rodeo. You know, one time I was connected to the machine from Princess Bride. Arm the... Yeah, that's a real one. Just so you know, he doesn't have any fingerprints. Yeah, they got burned off. He's making toaster strudel and it was really hot. <laughs> Don't give away our secrets. Yeah, of course I won't. Okay, Chosen, are you ready? Sure. Okay, Chosen, will you ever move out of your mom's basement? <laughs> I've freaking already said this before. I don't even live in my mom's basement. It's one of my safe houses, which I have many of. It's a lie. <laughs> what operating system do you have on that this thing? This is ridiculous. <laughs> are you running Linux? <sighs> Chosen, are you actually a mod on r slash atheism? I'm a mod on several things. I'm, okay, I'm not a mod on r atheism. True. Yeah. Okay, okay. So there is some truth to you. Yes, of course. But he is one of the top posters. Yeah. I engage in many beliefs, or disbeliefs. Chosen, do you carry an emergency Lunchables? Yes, I do. True. <laughs> it's frankly nothing to be ashamed of. I no, I... depends on which one. Yeah. It's mostly the pizza one. It's really like a modern health potion. Yeah, exactly, it's rations. Chosen, what is in your cargo shorts pockets? You don't have to answer that. I, uh, next. A plethora of things. Currently, I am unarmed, but usually, a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy SP, a Nintendo DS, and a Nintendo 3DS. All of which I have uh, in my pack, but not in my pockets right now. True. So you have nothing in your pockets right now? I have nothing in my pockets right now, <laughs> except for a lav microphone. True. Chosen, have you ever been bested in hand-to-hand -hand combat? <laughs> <laughs> No, I simply haven't. I have feigned defeat, but only for tactical advantage. I've never been bested, truthfully. Why? Okay, well, that's freaking ridiculous. Can we hear that story? <laughs> that's insane. Uh, no, uh... <laughs> what story? What story? <laughs> uh, well, you were lying. Just okay, now, fine. So. One time in kindergarten, Kevin Darvinson he, he kind of cheap shot at me. Smacked me in the face. It's like a Houdini situation. Yeah. You're expecting it. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it. We were playing tetherball, and then he hit the ball really hard and hit me in the face, and I was like, Kevin, what the frick? He also shot a look over there really loud. Yeah. And I thought there and might I was have been a surprise away. attack. That's, yeah, a surprise attack doesn't count as an actual fight. When it comes to real fighting, nobody can defeat me because I have combined jujitsu and jujitsu. Is that true, John? True. <laughs> Are you using a curse technique right now? Nicole, you know I can't answer that. Chosen, are your eyes open right now? Don't answer that. Yes. Why? Shit, okay, that was, okay, yes, they're open now. I mean, we sort of operate in a flow state. While even though our eyes are closed, we can still see the Sorry, are you referring us. to my third eye or my two eyes? Your two eyes. Okay, yeah, they're open. True. Yeah. Chosen, is Half-Life 3 in development? <sighs> There's a lot riding on this one. Yes. True. Gabe is not gonna like that. No, they're gonna kick our ass for that one. Have you ever played Half-Life 3? Don't answer that. Of what is made, yes. True. Is it good? <laughs> it's, obviously it's the best game ever. Yeah, to say, to say it's good is a lie because it's the best freaking thing I've ever played in my entire life. It's true. Yeah, duh. duh. Don't even like, need a lie detector <laughs> for that one. No, it's just, all you have to do is read the room. Chosen, do you have the GTA 6 release date? <sighs> yes. Why? Okay, what the frick? Looks like you're getting a little nervous, Chosen. No, it's uh, just humid. Why? Mm, so you are nervous? Well, I'm actually also just, I'm really tensing to, to train right now. I'm always working out, kind of. Yeah, so I'm just really going through it. Okay. But on purpose. Chosen, were you ever a baby or did you just materialize? Yeah, uh, yeah, I was a baby. True. No, I was born mortal and then cursed with... Cursed with responsibility later upon my life. You probably were like five or six. Yeah, probably <laughs> five or six. You know, I think around the time I was going to kindergarten is when I was like, oh shit, I'm chosen. Chosen, do you ever regret taking up the blade? Yes. True. 
It's a conflict, an inner battle that I am constantly waging. <sighs> the battle between the desire to live a normal life, perhaps have a farm, raise animals, or to continue my path, my journey. But Much like Batman. Yeah. You're whatever the world needs you to be. Exactly. But we cannot live in our regrets. We must push on. Boats against the current. Chosen, did you cause the Xbox 360 ring of death to spread like a virus? No, but I failed to stop the cabal that did it. True. I will say, we did perfect the method where you wrap it in a towel and yes. it gets really hot and the glue, uh, uh, it melts, melts and then the, and, and it solves the issue solves temporarily. The issue temporarily. Yeah, we did do that. The cabal, if I even brought up what the cabal is, your head would freaking yeah, explode. It's, it's Sony. Oh, we, 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 <laughs> yeah. we don't need to be super quiet. Yeah, I guess about that's it. true. It was Sony. They were jealous about Gears too. Yeah, they're pretty pissed about it. Chosen, do you know the identity of the chooser? No, I don't. He's lying. <gasps> Who is the chooser? I won't tell you. That's, I can't tell you that. Is the chooser Keanu Reeves? <sighs> no, the chooser is not Keanu Reeves. Is the chooser Wesley Snipes? No, the chooser is not Wesley Snipes. That'd be sick though. That would be. I, th I thought that for a while, but no, it's not Wesley Snipes. Is the chooser Patrick Bateman? The chooser is beyond human. Patrick Bateman is a fictional character, but. Uh... Are you a fictional character? No, in this multiverse that we live in, there is no such thing, I suppose, as a fictional character, but but no, um, or, no, I'm not fictional. He believes his delusion. <sighs> okay, I would, I would argue I'm the only real thing in this room. Hmm? What say ye? <laughs> so we're gonna do a tier list, except there's only two tiers. The top tier is impressive, and the bottom tier is classic mistake. Obviously. So I'm going to go through a series of people, real and not real, and I want you to tell me if they're impressive or a classic mistake. So Chosen, is this person impressive or just a classic mistake? Moist critical. Charlie. Mm, indeed. Um, he exhibits many Chosen qualities, but I think Moist critical exists somewhere in the in-between. Mm. The space between spaces. The space between spaces, yes. Just kind of floating in a white t-shirt. I feel like probably Lane's impressive. I guess Lane's impressive. Yeah. Impressive rising, classic mistake, whatever is mm -hmm. the opposite yeah. of rising. Sabrina Carpenter. Uh, look, I'll, I'll, impressive, impressive. I'll, 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 I know the limits of my uh, knowledge. Mm. It stops about it, Sabrina Carpenter. I'll say impressive. I'll say impressive. I tell yeah. you what, um, I trust you. I trust you both. Well. That's that me espresso. Yeah, nice. BB, no money. Mm -hmm. Impressive. 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 I think he's a little chosen. Yeah, he's definitely a little chosen. Freddy Fazbear. Impressive. Impressive. King DDD. <laughs> Classic mistake. <laughs> he's, well, like, he's like 20 times the size of Kirby and he has a hammer. And he gets best of oh, Have you seen Kirby? Very much the most powerful I think being. pretty much everything in Kirby is impressive. It's the, it's, it is the greatest. Uh, you know, I if agree. I were to go to Big Three, it'd be every I'm, Kirby game. Yeah, but I mean, if we're talking Kirby's POV, then classic, classic mistake. mistake. No, you're right. DDD is classic mistake for trying to ever yeah. take on Kirby. Mm -hmm. It's the biggest That's mistake a, anyone yeah. could ever make. Yeah. Power scaling Kirby versus Monkey D. Luffy. Oh, Kirby. Monkey D. Kirby. Monkey D. Kirby. So you didn't expect that shit. Yeah. See? Yeah. Kirby could absorb a Monkey exactly. D. Luffy. Exactly. And then what are you going to do about that? What are you going to do? You're screwed. See what happens if Kirby ate a gum gum fruit. Oh, got chills. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while now. Next person, Hunter Schaefer. Impressive. Impressive. Impressive is. Her work with Hideo Kojima is not to be discounted. Yeah, she is extremely chosen. Samus. Impressive. impressive. Yeah, impressive. Didn't have to think about that for a second. Zero suit Samus. Equally, yeah. equally yeah, impressive. impressive for just impressive. Their, their abilities. Yes. Just only their abilities. Only. Yeah, I don't need to talk about it. Only their else. abilities. Yeah. And their, their, their heels are fun. Yeah, exactly. Pretty cool outfit. The way they jump around. It's a good color. Yeah. It's a good it's color. A, yeah. 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 No, for sure. It's sort of a cobalt yeah. blue. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oprah Winfrey. This is the tough thing. 
I, her abilities are impressive, but sh but she has used her powers to create many demons. Mm. Dr. Phil. Mm. Gail. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is she impressive or a classic mistake? Mm. She also was bested by a very slow moving car and Drake and Josh. Still on about that, aren't you? Oh. It was going like four miles per hour. <sighs> Depending on the era. Talking color purple? Incredible performance. No, I would say impressive, but has made classic mistakes. Markiplier. <gasps> impressive. 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 Come on. Impressive. Femboy Link. Is that just Link? Yeah. Any I mean, version of Link is yeah. impressive. <sighs> Nothing not impressive about that. No, it's impressive. I mean that. It, it gives you. It gives you. It gives you bonus attack in cold conditions. I mean, come on. Gorgeous back muscles. Yeah. Trained really hard. Yeah, it's just, just it's just objectively. Every single armor set in both of those games is impressive. But is the femboy more impressive than, like, if he's wearing really mask armor? I guess I don't really. Majora's mask? No, I mean, and. <laughs> it's hard to say. I mean, can you really power scale links against each other? Yeah. Like, I like to play as Toon Link and Smash, but. Nice. Yeah. Know. Sick as hell. Toon Link better than Twilight Princess Link? Who's to say? Yeah. Germa 985. Impressive. impressive. Most impressive. Yeah, impressive. Arguably one of the most impressive. Pokemon. <sighs> Chosen operates by ninja rules. We would never stream with another woman. <laughs> it's a real thing Ninja does. I don't know if you guys... <laughs> oh, it's, not even, it's not even a bit. <laughs> no, I would say impressive. Probably impressive. Yeah, impressive. impressive. To deal with that many... That many horny non-chosens? Yeah. Wokey main? Wokey. <laughs> Report of the week. Oh, oh chosen, chosen, as chosen as hell. This is... He's doing noble work. So very impressive. Yes, incredibly Nothing, impressive. Nothing unimpressive about that. Yeah, probably the most impressive. I have the last one. Kanye. <sighs> I'm going to go with this classic mistake. I'm going to go with classic mistake. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go with classic mistake on that one. Very woke of y'all. Is that woke? Oh. Kanye's woke. Kanye is woke? <laughs> I think it's woke to say classic mistake. Oh, oh, okay, God. okay. That Indeed. helps. That helps. I can't say I didn't like graduation. Oh, oh yeah. I'd be bumping gl blood on the leaves sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Josen, thank you so much for coming down here and answering our assumptions. Is there anything else you want to add at the end of this? I have nothing to add except for, um, you know, when Half-Life 3 comes out, obviously, do not mention that you heard it from us. Is there anything else you want cut? <sighs> well, I mean, to my understanding, this is just a training video for future Chosens, right? So... Sure. This isn't going to be published anywhere? We, we believe Anthony Padilla watches this in a dark room by himself. To learn how people operate. Oh, so that's what woke means. <laughs>